Hello again, great two. Let's start in the vocabularies, in lesson seven. New vocabularies. So the first word is blooming. Blooming means, or it's synonym. Synonym means the meaning. The meaning additives. <clears throat> means opening and flourishing. Example, the flowers are blooming in the garden. This is how we can use the word blooming in an example. Shovels. A tool that's helping in planting, like the shovels we saw in our reading passage. Example, they are using the shovel to plant a tree. Scent, its synonym or meaning, smell. Example, roses have a scent looking like perfumes. Tough, synonym, hard. Example, this wood is too tough. Wrinkled. Example, this woman is so old, so her skin is wrinkled. Wrinkled is the opposite of smooth. Okay, and here we are having plain. Plain means having no colors, only one color. This shirt is plain, but this one is striped. Muscles, example. Muscles is a part of your body, of course, and it grows when you're exercising and eating proteins. So you should eat proteins to have strong muscles. Nodded, synonym or meaning to move your head. Example, mom nodded her head saying yes when I asked her I want to go out. This is the meaning of nodded. Those are our new vocabularies, and now let's start in grammar. Grammar, we are going to talk today about proper nouns, and they are the special names of people, animals, places, or things. So, if I said school, this is common noun. But if I said Virginia International American School, this is a proper noun. This is a special noun for a place. This is a proper noun that should be capitalized. The first letter should be capitalized. So here, if I said neighbor, neighbor here is noun, common noun. But if I said Gracia Smith, this is a proper noun, special name for someone. This is a proper noun. Pet, pet can be a dog, a cat or anything. But if I use this, Special name for the pet like fluffy so this is a proper noun road main street this can be any road but here I use the special name of the street main street and here drink so fruity punch drink here can be any drink state like Florida, Florida State in the United States. This is a name of state. But if I said state only, this is a common noun. Country, like China and Egypt. This is a proper noun. It should be, the first letter should be capitalized in all proper nouns. So now it's your turn. There are many gardens in the center valley. So here, which noun should be capitalized here? Yes. Center Valley, the first letter should be capitalized because it's a proper noun. And here, my friend Molly Bone picked apples. Which noun should be capitalized? Molly Bone. Molly Bone. The M in Molly and the B in Bone. Me's favorite toy is called Action King. Which one should be capitalized? Yes, here the M and mm, Action King because it's the name of special toy. So a proper noun names a special person, animal, place or thing. And a proper noun is one kind of exact noun. Use exact nouns in your writing to paint a picture in your reader's mind. So here it's your turn also. You can draw some pictures and use the proper nouns to describe this picture. Here 
And last, we are going to talk about the informative writing. Informative writing. What is the meaning of informative? Informative is to tell real information about something. So if I'm going to summarize the story of vegetables or ugly vegetables, like uh, the, the last reading passage we have taken together, if I'm going to summarize it's uh, events. So I'm going to use the informative writing. I'm going to inform you the summarization of the story. I should use a uh, specific order and um, tell, tell you all the events in order. So here we can see this sample. A girl helps her mother start a garden. This is the first thing we found in our uh, reading passage. The girl sees things they are doing differently from their neighbors. The neighbors use smaller shovels to water the garden. She and her mother use a hose. The neighbors use watering cans. The girl asks why their garden is different from the neighbor's gardens. Her mother says vegetables they are growing are better than flowers. The girl doesn't believe her until the end of the story. This is how we can summarize a story in the form of informative writing. And now it's your turn. Try to summarize the story we have taken before in your own way using the informative writing. Thank you so much for good listening and see you in school. Many thanks.